video is going to be such a fun one today. I have lots of updates to share with y'all. So I have a stuff sitting here for a haul for things for our new house, um, some gifts for my mom and my sister, and then I have a few clothing items. I had went to the thrift store if you followed me over on my Instagram account. I got some really cute, just very basic pieces for spring and summer from the thrift store that I loved. One of them is this shirt, but I'll share with y'all some of that stuff later. And then we're going to go see my mom's house and kind of see where that they're at with their new home. We have some really pretty pieces that we put up in their house and their floors getting laid down. So hopefully next week we'll be over there and starting to decorate yet. So I'm so excited to decorate mom's like new house since it got remodeled. We are so pumped about that. So that'll be a whole other series coming soon. So first we're going to get on with this little haul of the things that I have been picking up around and I wanted to share with y'all. So let's start with this little girl. So this is just going to be odds and ends from like little decor pieces or just light light fixtures and I only have one light fixture to show though. Anyway just little odds and ends for things for our house and then I'll go into the gifts and so forth. But I'm not buying anything like decor pieces unless I am like loving it because y'all just don't even know how many things that I have picked up and I've put back and I'm like I'm just gonna wait until we get into the new house but some things I'm like okay I know that I'm going to love that so one is this little girl she made my heart so happy look how cute she is and y'all know that I love roses roses are like my favorite flower I didn't even realize it I well I feel like that's so basic like that's everybody's favorite flower but I fell in love with them from having all those antique roses that I have started collecting from petals from the past and they're just a very hardy rose and they're just so beautiful and fragrant and I just love them so I became obsessed with roses and then I realized that my birth month is June and its flower is a rose so I've become obsessed with them but whenever I saw this I love the detail of the roses around her sweet little face and I want to put a plant in here that spills over and looks like her hair and so I picked her up from a new local plant nursery. The next thing that I got is this light fixture which we haven't assembled it yet and I really need to. I probably should have before this video but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. So I did get this in and I've been buying lights off of Amazon and different places little by little. I really think about each detail of the room like what I'm wanting the room and each space to look like so I've been looking on Pinterest and I mean, these were like a permanent thing. It's not like a decor piece that I can change in and out easily. I mean, I know I can change light pictures in and out easily, but I'm trying to like get something that's going to match the feel of the room. And so it's taken me a little, it's taken me a little by little. Like I have a lot of things in my Amazon cart and then I go through every now and then and just go ahead and order it. And I have a lot of fun things coming hopefully next week. I am pumped about some of these, but anyway, um, just little by little. And so that's why I'm sharing with y'all little by little, little light fixtures that I get. So I got this one and you can see what it looks like. And I believe this one is going to go on our back patio. I'm going to share a picture right here that is going to describe to y'all what it's going to look like. The idea of it, it's not going to look exactly like this, but it's like a covered A-frame patio area. And we were going to have the brick fireplace all the way up and then like a living room area there and so i wanted it to have a big beautiful chandelier um to kind of make it feel like a living space for outside because you're not love being outside and this is like one of the most favorite things that we are getting with the new house because with the trailer we never had that like outside living that we loved because if it rained or if it was really hot there was no cover that we had um, the front porch had a little bit but not much so we are so excited about our new outdoor living space and so i wanted it to feel super homey and cozy and y'all know we're going to decorate it all up and so i grabbed this thing that i picked up i'm not sure if i'm going to use it or not y'all know i have already picked up one and i took it back but addison and i went out shopping the other day and she got a new bedspread and all and i found this one and i'm going to share with y'all a bed that i'm inspired by i cannot figure out how i exactly want to do our bedroom yet i know i want to do like maybe black velvet curtains and you'll see kind of this look what i'm wanting to do but i don't want it to be too harsh like i still want it to be kind of airy and just feel cozy so i've got to figure out what i want to do exactly but i found this at home goods this is three piece set i don't know if you can see or not but it has like a floral detail like there's some roses in there it's like a lifted stitch look and so I knew that white would be pretty to kind of break up all the harshness of the black that I'm wanting to do in there 
And so I grabbed this one. We're going to see if it's going to work. This is kind of what it looks like. I know this is not really sharing with y'all the details of it, but we're going to see if it's going to work or not. Okay, look real quick because I'm sure that this headboard stood out to you and I'm going to tell y'all what we're going to do to our old headboard to make it new. So this is what our headboard looks like and Drew made this for me. So I'm planning on painting the wood white and then I'm going to spray paint the little lanterns that are on the side of it a brass color. So we're going to give this headboard a little makeover. I love the wood. We've just had it for over five years now. We've had it for a pretty good while and I'm ready to change some things up in the new house. And so that is the plan on how to um, kind of give this little headboard a makeover. So be looking forward to that. I'm going to be doing lots of little painting projects as we get closer to moving in. So I did pick that up and I had told Addison too, I said, I don't know, I think I'm just going to wait till we get in the house and like get the bed set up before I buy a comforter to see if I love it or not. But I really liked this one. So I was like, let me get it home and open it up and make sure this one's going to work or not. No, right now it's hard to come by things that you love and if you see something while you're out and about and you love it you just need to grab it because things are hard to find right now next thing that i've had is actually a gift from my mom so her birthday was back in january and we decided not to get her anything because that's whenever like all the craziness has happened with the flooding and so we didn't want to get her something and then her have to put it in storage and so we said we would get her a birthday present for something that she needed for the house whenever she moved back in but I knew that she had been needing one of these cake plates and I'm actually gonna give it to her today so we don't have to worry about her seeing this before she gets it. Um, Cause they're supposed to be moving in next week and she just tucked away in her kitchen cabinets. But she and my sister has been needing one of these. And so I got my mom one and my sister one. So a beautiful cake plate. It was only $25 and this is so Pretty. It's like a marble look, and I love this wood. It's gonna be so pretty in mom's kitchen. It's a big cake plate with a taller cake dome, so you can put a big cake in there. So I got this one for her birthday, and we'll get her some other things for her house too. But this one, these have been hard to come by at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and so as I've been seeing them, I've been trying to find the perfect one for my mom and sister. And I think it's gorgeous. I'm jealous. And then I was trying to, because I have one too. Mine's all wooden. This one's mom's and i was trying to get us all three different ones that way if we had events we had three different cake plates so my sister's is actually out in the jeep i'm gonna take it to her today so once i get it to her house i'll show you all what it looks like hers i got her one back at christmas time and i don't know how i didn't notice this but the dome didn't fit on the cake plate so we had to take it back and we've been looking for one since christmas time and we have not found one so i finally found one and i got it for her so this is the cake plate that i found my sister but I just realized it's crooked. I brought it over here to her to show y'all and her, and it's just not meant for her to have one, I don't guess. But that was it. This one was $30. It was really cute. We'll try to find another one. Next thing I got, I'm going to share with y'all some thrift store finds. Um, so the other day, I cleaned out my closet. I do this like every season. I do a huge clean out where I clean out because I don't like having clutter. And so I go through my closet and I clean out each season. So I did like my spring and summer stuff and I pulled out so much stuff. I had so much more room in our closets. And uh, then I went to the thrift store to find some basic pieces on what I would need for some things that I have found on Pinterest that I loved. And I'm gonna share with y'all some of those pictures along with these items to kind of give y'all the idea of the looks that I was going for. But while I was shopping for clothes, I found this in the shoe section. Somebody had picked it up and put it back and I grabbed it. I thought this would be so pretty in our kitchen displayed somewhere. It was only $4.99. And I cannot wait to make like guacamole with this or I'm actually like I'm not planning on this being decor like I really like it is gonna be decor but I really want to use it too. So y'all give me all the ideas on how I can use this thing. I know to like smash up our avocados. Um, I know I can definitely use it for that but if there's any other ideas y'all let me know. I cannot wait to have this sitting like on our marble countertops and just to bring in some warmth into our kitchen. So I loved this. Okay, so I'm not gonna model these clothes. I'm just gonna pick them up and kind of just show you them real quick with some inserts from Pinterest pictures. But y'all let me know, I did a lot last year of fun, 
like little thrift me hauls like with clothes or some of my favorite pieces that I found for like summer or fall each season like some of my favorite pieces that I found so y'all let me know I share it all on my Instagram account like as soon as I get it home so y'all can follow me over on Instagram at simply what can lace and watch my stories and keep up with me daily if you are over there then you've already seen all this I love fashion too and so I don't know if that's something that y'all are interested in on me like sharing on my channel or just stick with like the home stuff but I was going to just share with y'all a few pieces because you can find some some really good basic pieces um, at the thrift store so this is one of them and so I got this just to throw over like some tank tops this is a really pretty like lightweight suede material and it's like a mustard color and it covers the booty and I got it for like five dollars and so it's just easy just to kind of throw over like my workout stuff so I could dress it up or dress it down so I did grab this grabbed this one too and it's like the same concept but this one is black and it looks just like this one on but i love how they how these feel and they were like five dollars i grabbed a lot of white stuff so i just grabbed some like basic linen button-ups because you can wear these all sorts of ways and then i grabbed this really cute belt let me show it to you so this one was two dollars and I thought it'd be really cute with a dress. And I showed it over on Instagram. It was like a long fitted, like midi dress. It came down to my shins. And it was a fitted dress. And then I put this over it with like a really cute beach hat and like some really cute shoes and like layer some gold jewelry. And it was super cute. It kind of reminds me of like a Caribbean look. And then I grabbed this super plain basic top from Aerie. All this was like less than five dollars. So this is really soft and you can always have a basic tee. Another little bit button up. I love these in the spring and summer. I grabbed two of these. I grabbed a white one and then a beige color one with little turtlenecks. And then I grabbed this, which was super cute and flattering on. And I put it with just a pair of ripped up jeans and then some cute black shoes and it was so pretty so those are just some of the basic pieces that i had picked up in the thrift store i wanted to share with y'all because you can find really good basic pieces all this was less than five dollars and i can dress these up or down or take them to the beach for like cover-ups just super easy outfit i want to share with y'all real fast some of my favorite things that i found from old navy i did, I did find some cute things from tj maxx too but y'all had to let me know i don't want to share too much clothes and be boring y'all but i know everybody likes old navy and i feel like tj maxx is a little bit harder to like go in it have the same pieces everywhere but old navy they definitely have the same pieces at every store so i was going to share with y'all some of my favorite things that i have found and these little shorts what are you doing come here come on come on oh tell everybody hey tell them hey she was up there taking a nap this is little maddie girl Let's finish showing them. So I picked up these shorts from Old Navy and I love them. They have them in different colors and they're a really good length. I'm gonna put them on for y'all, but they're a really good length. And y'all, what made me fall in love with them is how they feel. They are the softest shorts ever. They remind me of like Lululemon, like how like soft their stuff is. I love them. They are, this is, that might be backwards. But they are the high rise three inch inseam power soft shorts. And they were $30, but I got them on sale too. So they had this color. And then Addison got this like off white color. So we're gonna share them, but obsessed with these shorts. These are gonna be the shorts that I wear all the time in the summer. Did find these and I had saw where this other Instagrammer was wearing these and it was super cute. She actually wore it to Disney and she put like a cute Disney sweatshirt over it. So I was like, that would be really cute to do. It kind of looked like that tennis skirt vibe, but then you could also wear it to the beach. So this is from Old Navy, it was on clearance. And it's like that dry fit material. So it is like a Razorback tank top dress. So I got it in black and it has a built-in bra in it. And I just thought this would be so cute to just throw on either to be in the garden in the summer when it's super hot. I could dress this up or down. It could be very casual. I could wear tennis shoes with this, um, take it to the beach with me. I just love this little dress. So I got it in black, this blue color too, because I really love this blue color. 
So this is probably like one of my favorite colors, especially for the spring and summertime. So I got this one too. I cannot wait to wear these. I think these are gonna be so cute and so flattering because they're like a really thick material. So I feel like they're gonna hold me in and just be very flattering on. Things that I grabbed before we go look at some bigger items. I did grab these sunglasses at TJ Maxx. I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep them or not so y'all can let me know, but these were on clearance for $8. And I felt like they could be so cute these are like really in style now like these just little glasses that kind of have the cat eye look and you're supposed to not wear them up against your face like this but down just a little bit and then i thought they'd be really cute and like chic with a little floppy hat from the beach and actually i love sunglasses like this that doesn't have like the nose piece because whenever i pull them up on top of my head and jerk them down they don't pull my hair out so these are really good for the beach because you know at the beach you're just like throwing them up and down off your head and so these were on clearance for $8. So y'all let me know, should I keep these or just stick with my Ray-Bans and my keys that I wear all the time? So do y'all like these? And then also I grabbed these. These were $12. Of course they're TJ Maxx brands, so they're not like probably the best quality sunglasses, but I thought these again would be good for at the beach or like out in the garden. So I grabbed these, they might be dirty. And I loved the color, like the, like I'm obsessed with this color. I love it, like this nude color. So I grabbed these two. So let me know, should I keep one or both of them or take them back? So these were again, well, they were $13, $12.99. So this is one big and exciting thing that we have purchased and it's our bathtub for our master. And I'll share with y'all what it looks like. I can't take it out of the box and show y'all yet. So this is it and I'll insert a clip of what it looks like and then if y'all remember on the last video we had that really pretty big gold antique looking faucet that is going to come up like right here and then have like the really pretty knobs on it that are porcelain we are so excited i cannot wait to relax in this tub Y'all, this stuff is just thrown in Miss Althea and them's garage right now until they need this stuff. So I wish I could show it to y'all a prettier way, but it's just, stuff is just stuck everywhere for now until we're ready to use it. So this is the doors that we got to go in. So as you're laying in our bed, in mine and Drew's master bedroom, and you're looking into the bathroom, the master bathroom, these are the doors that you will use to enter into our master bathroom. So I got these on the online yard sale, and I am so excited. They definitely have to be cleaned up, and I'm going to paint them. And then I know you're thinking the glass looking into the master bathroom, like how's that gonna work? So I'm gonna figure out how to, I think I actually know what to do to antique these, so I'll share with y'all what I'm gonna do whenever I actually do that. So I have two older style looking doors. They're not really like antique, but I'm gonna make them look antique. So we're trying to make things really cute and have character in the home, but trying to do it affordably. And so if you find antique doors this size on Etsy, they're like thousands of dollars. So we're gonna try to make these our own. And so I've gotta figure out what color I'm gonna paint them. And then I think I'm going to like spray paint this, like with mirror spray paint. And then you take like a wet sponge. And I've done this before. Actually, let me take y'all and I can show y'all what my thoughts are. And then I wanna change out the knobs and probably spray paint the hardware. So we're, I'm gonna show y'all some like ideas of what I want this door to look like. I'm so excited that we found these that would fit. Okay, so here it is. This was a practice run. You can see I didn't do the best, but I spray painted this somewhat. Actually, one of y'all gave me this idea to do to this cabinet that I found for my oils. Um, a few years ago so this cabinet was just a plain glass mirror like the ones out there and i just used mirror spray paint and i just took like a damp cloth and just kind of patted it and it gave it this like antique mercury glass look and so i'm gonna try it to do to get on those and do them a little bit better because you can see there's like i don't really know what all that's from but i think that this turned out pretty cool and good and that way it just gives it that glaze and antique look where you can actually see into the bathroom that way whenever we're in there getting ready or something if people come into the bedroom then you can't see in the bathroom so that is the idea of what to do to those doors okay friends this is the last thing so this is our front door i thought i was going to share it with y'all outside today but drew actually covered it up and i cannot wait to stain these and then get these put on our front door for the new house and so 
but that is going to be all for this video all of this haul so stick around for next week as we go to my mom's house to start decorating it we have lots of fun exciting projects coming up i hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and i will see you guys on the next one bye y'all